Okay, so I just want to talk about and say that I'm pretty much hard stuck plat elo. And maybe it's probably my ego talking and I think that I do f play better than a support that's in plat because most of the game, most of the lanes uh, lane matchups or whatever every game usually i win of course usually means 60 to 70 percent of the time i win the lane sometimes you know you get this one matchup where i'm weak-sided and we just get completely ran over like a huge bot gap but that's occasional it's not very frequent and I don't know, people say it's very easy to climb climb high <clears throat> with support, but I don't know. I really don't know. It's really hard to climb when you're when I'm supporting my AD carry and we're winning the lane pretty hard. But apparently the top has five deaths by ten minutes. Mid has five deaths by ten minutes. Or even more, and the jungle is just being passive. Is like I don't know how can how can a person die five times, brief ten minutes, when the jungle isn't even ganking <clears throat> my lane that much because I usually win that lane without the jungle, of course. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm managing the. I'm. I am doing um, wave management doing the macro plays and I'm trying to focus. I even watched some videos from the, uh, uh, what the, the videos from that, uh, the challenger that tell you how to, uh, how to play the game. There's like courses and they say that, that they're the best website and they have the best courses to learn and that you're, you're definitely going to climb like a whole league or, I think it's league and divisions are in between. So yeah, like I don't know. I am watching those videos. I'm improving and everything, but I just don't know. <clears throat> also, I got banned. <laughs> I got what? Like this is what I don't understand. So I'm I don't show my toxicity in all chat or team chat or anything. I have it disabled. I used to have it. But like and now I have it back on because I can't even chat anymore. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, but I got chat restricted because I sweared in the party chat where no one can see anything that I'm seeing. So they, when I'm uh, tilted, I try not to get tilted, but when I am, I just spam the champions the, my team in party chat but they can't really see it i'm the only person who sees it and i said i just swear that like i said brand is retard you know like yeah not very not not good words pretty bad words but they still got chat restricted and i think that's pretty stupid for someone who uses who where you say those words where no one can see it I'm not sure, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think that's fair to, to, to really restrict me for a whole month from the chat when the, when, when the enemy couldn't even see what I'm writing or spamming them, chat. I don't even, even when I'm tilted, I don't even spam, thing, spam the pings because they can see the pings, but I don't even do that when I'm tilted. And I don't know, I think it's just unfair, like, yeah, I got... I was banned from playing ranked games for five days, uh, for five games, so I had to play five normal games. And then I was back to rank, but I got restricted for a whole month. So yeah, I think it's pretty weird. Well, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the right approach, I don't know. But yeah, now I have uh, the old chat. And I just see my teammates typing like plat elo 
and like in previous season emerald they just type all the time and it's insane the ego is insane like they just type and they keep saying gap and they ping non-stop it's insane extremely toxic and then didn't do any of that a single time in the chat where people can see it i don't want my uh I don't want my behavior to affect other people, so I just restrict myself to party chat, usually. But yeah, so, I don't know, like the whole point is, I think it's really hard to climb high into Emerald and, and Diamond, maybe even Master. I wanted to get to Diamond at least. Uh, this is a new account that I made from last season at the end the end of like i actually had this account for a long time but uh, i actually started playing it and i actually have some skins like about 20 skins on it pretty good they, all of them are epic and skins or above anyway i just uh, i made a new account i started playing seriously on it and yeah i don't know I just think it's extremely difficult to climb uh, the ranks to much higher elo to like from platinum to emerald and diamond and higher when when your entire team is feeding and you're not feeding and if i ever play a, a different role like uh ad carry which i can't play as twitch or as uh, ash sometimes i do it when i'm like bed with my team and i'm sick and i'm like yeah i'm gonna carry this game so i play those roles but usually i just stick to support and i don't know i just don't know every, almost every game i get one lane that is dying like five six times before 10 before the game even reaches 10 minutes mark and it's it's already over usually like it, the chance of it being over is much lower because it's a low elo so if it's if we're talking about grandmaster then yeah this game is super over <laughs> because if you feed your lane like six deaths this th th there's no way that the guy is gonna uh screw up his snowballing because you know we're talking about people who are really high up in the ladder but yeah i just i just think that in my opinion climbing out of like climbing into emerald and higher as a support is extremely difficult sure i'm not, like i started playing surf like before that i used to main play mostly just lux as you can see 52 games played in this uh split two and i even like to play oriana because you know she has the shield she has the speed boost that you give and her damage is insane if you know how to play her like i really love oriana she's insanely good as a support and overall like she does a lot of damage and the ultimate is also quite insane but it's much harder to hit when you're in plat elo because you know people know how to actually kite so it's not always uh, easy to hit the ultimate and yeah like so i started playing seraphine more recent recently and i'd say it's been going pretty well i have a low Win, win rate with her because before i wasn't taking it seriously but now i actually starting to learn how to play her and she's she's actually really strong i like her i still like lux more i still enjoy playing lux a lot more than any other champion as a support but she's in the lower tiers of as a support like seraphine is much more superior to her in in terms of everything um so yeah, I started playing Seraphine, I think. Yeah. I just don't know. It's it's really hard. I don't think I play horribly all the lanes. And I also have like eight deaths. Like that's a lot. I think in my opinion. Eight if I get over five deaths, for me that that's just like crosses the line where I'm just inting. And I think I like to think the reason why i have over five deaths as a support is because i just i keep making the same mistake all the time where i'm just trying to follow 
the person who's snowballing because this is what you're supposed to do like if if i'm going to follow the support uh, the 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 player in my team who's snowballing pretty hard and he has a bounty if i play around him it increases the chance because you know we get to pick a player or two we can fight 2v1 2v2 and easily win it because he's snowballing and just get a higher chance of winning but it's almost every time where when i play around in flat yellow around a snowballing player he just dies and i die with him or when i try to play along with my team even though i know that the team fight there's no way we can win because of our positioning is horrible we have no vision or it's just that it or, or it's just there's no way we can win this team fight overall because um because of the uh team compositions i still go in and if i don't go in they start pinging me like hell even though i i know i'm in the right so i just don't know what to do maybe i think maybe i should just stop if i know that going somewhere with the snowballing is gonna get us both killed eventually maybe i should not do that maybe i should just stick around try to take down some wards in the enemy jungle maybe stick around my support gank another lane that's maybe still uh in the laning phase like top they usually like to stay a lot on, on top um yeah maybe i just sh shouldn't fight the team fights i don't know if what's the right call should i fight a team fight where i know we're going to lose it because if i don't it's one it's one death less but that also means that my team will not be able might not be able to get a kill off of that like some kind of trade instead of having like let's say four of us died and because I participated, then we managed to pick off like two or three of the enemy team in a 4v4. But if I don't participate, then all of my then all of my three teammates die and none of them die on the other team. So like obviously it seems like the former option is the better one. I just don't know. I really don't know what to do there. Even if I ping, they don't listen. They just don't listen. They just go on. They try to fight, even though we should be avoiding team fights. Only do those team fights uh, to if we know we're going to win them, or if it um, progress gives some progress towards ending the game as a win. I just uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just some random. Uh, rant about uh, climbing into high lows as a support is not as easy not, not as easy as people say definitely not easy I think uh, being AD carry where you have the option to actually carry a game as, as an AD carry because you can just if you're twitch you can literally just burst the entire team down if you know how to play which is why I also main Twitch on 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 the secondary role as I AD carry. Almost every single every single game that I had on Twitch always ends up with my KD being like five or six, meaning I have a ton of kills. Whether it's a win or lose, my performance is always good. It's really hard to screw up with Twitch if you know how to play it. Is such a hard carry. But it's pretty sad that I barely see him being played, which is insanely strong. You just, you, if you just build two items on him, and it's pretty much game over. Because he just does so much damage, it's insane. If he gets his third item, it's definitely over. <laughs> unless, unless you're getting hard focused, uh, usually it's a win as a Twitch. Twitch AD carry. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope you it was interesting at least to listen to this rant. Yeah, hope uh, and I'll see you in the next video, which I don't know when I'll upload. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.